Okay, I'm going to try to do a little tutorial on how you can reset the LFO of the Behringer 2600 through MIDI. For this, I'm going to use the Korg SQ1 sequencer, and I might use the Behringer Pro 1 as well. If you're just getting the Behringer 2600 and looking for things to add, I would definitely recommend both of these. They're, the Pro 1 complements it very well, and the SQ is super good for the price. Um, so, playing it from a MIDI keyboard through the SQ1, so if I press play, we get a sequence, if I play the keyboard, we get that, and combine them. Anyways, um, if this is on single, the trig mode, the LFO behaves normally, but if it's on malt, you'll see when I press a key, it, it stays lit. So every time you it gets a MIDI note, the LFO is being reset. Now, you can use this to your advantage. Um, so, like I said, if I press play, the sequencer will trigger the synth, but we can stop that by plugging a cable into here and disabling the CV by plugging the other end of the cable into here, and that'll disable the CV and gate. So now when we press play, nothing happens. Um, so now we can use the LFO and listen to the re-triggering. So if I send it to the filter and stop the... Um, so here's the LFO, how it sounds, and if you play the sequencer, it's being reset every step. If you slow down the sequencer, so now you can take an LFO. I'm going to take the LFO from the Pro One here and run it to the sync in of the the sequencer. And now you can vary the rate of your LFO. If it's a VC LFO, I'm going to use the Pro One mixer. And send this to the thing that's modulating the LFO. So if we turn this to single, we get a normal LFO, and if we flick it to malt, we get the modulated LFO. So this is the only way I've figured out how to influence the LFO's rate, and you need MIDI to do it. So we're just going to play around for a minute. We'll um, take this LFO out and try to trigger the synth with it. So 
so you can interrupt the LFO. Take the sample and hold out to the Pro 1 oscillator CV. And we'll double the Pro 1's mixer out with the stackable and send it to the filter of the ARP. This isn't a very interesting touch, but I had nothing planned. If you turn on the LFO retrigger, it's affected by this MIDI note. So if we disconnect the Here's the Behringer 2600 triggering from the LFO, and 